Hello guys, welcome to TechX video. So guys, in this video we are going to talk about inner HTML. So basically, what is this inner HTML? So uh, inner HTML is used in JavaScript uh, where suppose you have de declared a, a declare or define a function and you want to pass the result of that function to a uh, to a tag using an ID. So that is where the inner HTML comes into the play. So guys, let's get going. So guys, let's quickly move on to some simple examples of how does the inner HTML works. So I will try to write uh, two examples uh, which will make you uh, understand how does the inner HTML actually works. So let's just begin our basic coding. So I will have a HTML and body under which I have a paragraph. So click just so under this I am creating a button which uh, and I'm using a handler called as on click so on click I'm, I'm going to create a function called display date okay so yeah and we can have a, some text over the button such as click or slash p oh sorry slash button okay so under this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a script okay so we are going to define our function that is display date here and what i will do is document dot get element by id of i will be creating a id later date dot okay so yeah inner html will do i will call the function date okay so I will close my script here. I am again creating a paragraph but with an ID as date, the same that we have used here. So, yeah, okay. So, to just demonstrate what happens, I will have some text here. So, before click, this will be slash p. Okay, I forgot to end my script. Just close my body and the HTML. Okay, now just save this as date dot HTML. Now just quickly move on to our browser and check whether our script is working. Okay. So Already I have fired on my BAM server, so local host. Under that I have folder called HTML, and we have our file date.html. Okay, so I have got a button called date. So if I click this, uh, it should give me the date, time, today's day, as well as uh, the uh, month and the year. So let's try. Okay, it's not working. Let's just go back. Okay. Oh, I missed it here. I should script. Okay. Uh, let's save this again. More to browser refresh. Okay, so this is before click, and when I click on my button. It gives me today's day, the current month. Okay, this is today's date, the year, current time, and the uh, time format that is GMT plus 530. 
so this is how inner HTML works so when the date uh, the inbuilt function is called its value gets stored into the ID that we have created that is this date and whenever the button is clicked the, uh, the information that uh, date is holding will be passed to this ID and it will be uh, displayed instead of this before click so uh, this is how inner HTML works uh, let me have one more example for you so what we'll do is uh, okay we don't need this button remove this okay uh, so what we'll try to do is we will convert the Fahrenheit to Celsius so I will have a function called F2C and script will be like return okay so the standard formula for converting the Fahrenheit to Celsius is 5 by 9 star whatever Fahrenheit you want to give suppose I have to give 80 Fahrenheit minus 32 so this is standard formula after that I am going to fetch it to my ID so document document dot get element by id and the id is okay let's change the id to celsius celsius dot inner HTML equal to I have to give the function name f2c okay so this id placing it just here okay so this is before call so let's just save our program go back refresh it okay so this was before calling actually we have got the function definition here as it is this is because we haven't included the uh, braces here so when when you call any function without including the braces uh, circular braces you get the function definition and not the value so now I have included the braces so let's just save this and go back and run okay so this is the uh, Celsius of Fahrenheit that, I have, that we have given that is 80 Fahrenheit is equal to 26.66 uh, degrees Celsius so guys I have hope that uh, you have under, understood how does the dot inner HTML works uh, if you have any queries please do post them into the comment section below and please subscribe to our channel because I will be getting more of such videos which will help you to build your web development knowledge and many other uh, streams also. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.